It felt great. Um, the third day is always the hardest day, and it's one of those times you just you want to leave nothing, you want to leave it all out on the floor. And today was a great day. Um, I actually did one of the best vaults I've ever done and the best bar teams I've ever done, so I'm very happy with how today went. I was super excited to finally make it to event finals. You know, coming out these past couple NCAA championships, I was able to do my job in Super 6 Day, so it was fun to actually um, advance to individual event finals. My goal was to hit my routine, and yes, I made it through my routine. It wasn't my best routine. Um, there was some amazing talent out there, and I don't really necessarily think that BEAM is my best event, but I was proud of myself for making it through my first individual final. Um, it went okay. Uh, I could have done. I had a lot more energy than I thought I did. Um, going in, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of tired. And then my second pass, I was like, oh, I'm not that tired. I'm not that tired. So it could have gone a little better. But I mean, I'm just happy with the end result. Um, event finals, I definitely, all I was thinking about was having fun. And I definitely had a lot of fun on the floor. I think that's the best routine I've done. I thought everyone did a great job. You know, it's always so challenging, the event finals, because it's a long weekend and our team used up so much energy and, and enthusiasm last night so it was exhausting. I knew coming in today that it was going to be um, really, they would really have to fight and just kind of basically running on fumes. This is what it's all about. I mean NCAAs, it's a long and grueling competition but being out there today and competing, it was, it was awesome. How important was it for you to get this experience your freshman year? Definitely um, a huge bonus getting it in my freshman year, and a lot of the girls have never even experienced it as an upperclassman, so I was more than blessed to be able to participate in BEAM. Um, hopefully next year there's always room for more events up there, but it was great experience. A huge learning experience for them. I, I thought they did great. I thought everybody did great, but uh, you know this is their first opportunity to be a part of this and to see that and to make event finals. Um, I think it's really, it's really special. Oh, it was so important. I think I got a lot of experience and it's going to be great going into the next three years of my career. Wow, I mean, she was just a complete model of consistency and it was so amazing to see her uh, enjoy every moment out there today. I mean, she won floor. She's the first person since Maria Ons in 1985, first skater since Maria, to win a floor title. And so, I think that's extra special. Honestly, when we got our awards for the all around, that definitely hit me and you know, I started getting choked up a little bit, but and you know, it's always hard and everyone comes to that moment, but just being able to realize that, you know, this is my last time out here and this is the last time I will ever step on a podium and so I'm definitely just really 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 proud of myself. What was it like being down here watching Petra do her last floor routine as a Gator and her last beam routine? It was really sad. It hasn't really hit me yet and it never does. It's been such an incredible journey. I mean, Keith and I are so incredibly close and it'll be sad to see her leave. Oh, it was... <laughs> Sorry, she's over there. It was it was sad because, like, it's Keitra. Like, it's, it's going to be sad watching her go. It was hard. I was just so happy just to end my career on a high note. Six two five from the University. Two five from Oregon State.